Welcome back, everyone. A natural home remedy during cold and flu season. That's the claim behind one popular product. But the big question now is if it's effective. And today's one for well, ones for wellness, our Brooke Katz is taking a closer look. <coughs> In the season of coughs and colds, <coughs> sniffles and sneezes, elderberry has become known as a way to ease your symptoms. But at least one study found the evidence just doesn't back that up. It actually didn't make any difference at all compared to placebo when you took all the patients who took elderberry and all the patients who took the placebo medication. Their illnesses lasted almost the identical length of time. Dr. Michael McKinnon with Cleveland Clinic Children's led the research. Doctors looked at 87 people ages 5 and up who went to the emergency department with the flu. Some also took other prescription flu treatments. The results? People given elderberry with no other flu treatment had moderate to severe symptoms two days longer on average than those taking only the placebo. According to the National Institutes of Health, while some other preliminary research suggests it may help with symptoms, there's simply not enough information about it. I think it's important to emphasize that right now we don't have anything to treat the flu that works wonderfully well. When it comes to the flu, doctors say prevention is key and your best bet is still the flu shot. Even the four standard treatments that are available only make you feel better about one day sooner and any medication also comes with some side effects. So I think it's important to try and prevent flu and get the flu vaccine. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News. Well, you know, a few things to know about elderberry. Raw, unripe berries and other parts of the tree, like the leaves or the stems, they can cause issues, things like nausea and vomiting. Cooking it will eliminate that toxin. And not much is known about whether it is safe to use during pregnancy or breastfeeding. So keep all of that in mind.